What's going on guys? It's your boy Kev here, back with another video. Like I said, I'm going to be trying to kick out these NBA prize picks videos every single day for you guys, give you guys some content, and we're loving the prize picks over here. I think they're going really well. Loved reading your comments last video, seeing the different pit players you picked and the ones that you thought were going to be over and under. So just for the people who are new to the channel or new, new to prize picks, I'm going to do the intro I want to do every time now. And what it is, is essentially prize picks is you can pick the over and under for two, three, four, or five different players, kind of like a parlay. So for example, if I think, you know, LeBron James is going to score over a hypothetical projection of 30 points, I would take the over of that. Now I can pair that with at least one more pick and you can do it across sports too. So say I think Tom Brady is going to hit over 19 points or under 19 points. I can pick that too. And if I'm right about both my picks, um, I'm cashing. So if I put down 20 bucks and just a, a quick little double up and on two picks, I'll win 40. So pretty simple. The more you risk, you know, two, three, four, five player parlays obviously the more reward you'll get so really cool guys look into it look to the scoring learn more i mean this website is super user friendly super simple too shows you the scoring charts you know right here it shows you um for each sport how they're scored it shows you you know full full rules here it shows you how to play it, it's super super simple it shows you the difference between flex play and power play super super simple so really excited about that um so i, I would also tell you guys uh this is definitely something you want to if you deposit i mentioned this in previous videos if you deposit they match up to 100 bucks so personally like i threw 100 bucks in right away just because they matched me for 100 and if you do sign up please support the channel to support us uh we really appreciate it and uh use our code dgf when you do that would be awesome it really helps the channel guys so thank you very much um enough with the intro let's get right into the picks for tomorrow night this is we're looking at wednesday january 6th so i'm gonna do it a little different this time last time i gave you like my top picks i'm just going to start going through all the players that are listed at the time um right now we have eight on the board i'm sure they'll add some more like they did yesterday you know but i'll give you my uh my hot take on these eight so first off we have james harden james harden at 56 that's his point projection i'm going to say he's going up against a sixth ranked defense um against the position he's averaging 55 points per game he's hit over 56 one of his four games I'm going to go under here. Um, it's a very high score to hit at 56. And this is a tough matchup to do so. Like I said, the opposing defense is sixth against the position, Indy. Um, he's playing like he wants out of Houston. And I know, as you guys do uh, as well, he does. Um, he's been very vocal about that. And the Raptors may be interested in pursuing him. So I saw that was interesting. And uh, maybe he'll end up there and, you know, help out, I believe, the one in five Raptors right now. So definitely could use some help. Uh, moving on, we have uh, Sabonis. Fourth ranked defense against the position, so another tough matchup for him. 45 points is his point projection. Has been playing well and is crushing the minutes. Absolutely crushing the minutes. Love and see the usage in minutes. He's hit over 45 more times than not this year. I think the only thing is this is a pretty appropriate projection at 45. I don't feel really confident either way to hit the over or the or the under of that. So that might be someone you want to avoid. I mean, if I'm just looking at these two first off the rip, I would definitely take the under for Harden then make a decision on um, how Sabonis is going to do. So... You know, he's been close to that score all year, and it, it's, it is a tough matchup. Moving on, we have Andre Drummond. You know, recency bias is telling me no, just at 46. I see 46. I'm thinking no for Andre Drummond. Uh, under 38 points his last three games. So not just under 46, under 38 points his last three games in a row. He's a stud. We know this, but, you know, he can snap. He can flop. He's kind of hit or miss. And, uh, you know, th this is uh, due to his recent usage and production. It's going to point me to the under. If I'm going to pick, I'm picking under on him. I think uh, that's a that's too high of a projection for him, especially with how he's been playing. I mean, even when he's you know missing, it's not he's not missing close. So definitely want to uh, tack the under on Drummond. I believe. Moving on to Nikola Vucevic. Um, Vuce, we have at 42 points. Uh, he's hit over 42 four of his seven seven games this year. So you know more times than not, he is uh, you know when he has missed that price point, it's been pretty close. He's scored 36 points all three times he's missed. So he's not that far off to be honest. When he has cleared his 42 point uh, price point, he's done fairly comfortably. I mean he has a 50 point game, a couple 49s. He, you know he's pretty comfortable over that 42. So this is a close one, and it is a somewhat appropriate projection. Um, you know, he scored 50 against Cleveland last time they played. So that is going to probably be the push I need to, to take the over of 42 on Vooch. It's just, it is a little close. It's not a bad projection. I mean, they, they, these guys are prize picks. They know what they're doing. You know, they're not just going to give you free money. They're not going to put them at, you know, 25 points. But I do like the over for him. 
Moving on to Joel Embiid. Um, Joel Embiid, 50 points. I think 50 is steep right off the bat. Uh, he's cleared 51 of his six games so far this year. I feel like that's, to be honest, I don't really need to bring too much up. I mean, that's ridiculous. He's only cleared one of six games, and, uh, you know, that that's really all I need to know. I mean, it'll make me really, really lean towards the under. That's one of my more confident picks. It's just he's, he's not putting up those kind of numbers. That's a pretty steep projection. I get, get the matchup. I get the situation um, with his supporting cast right now, but I still – don't uh I, I just don't think that's that's an accurate projection. I th- definitely think he falls short of that. Um more of an accurate projection would be Russell Westbrook. Too accurate of a score at 51. Westbrook is, I mean, obviously he's a great player, but he's so consistently dancing around that number. I mean, his games are literally 49, 49, 52, 52, 51. That is just dead on the money for, for where he's projected. I'm probably going to avoid him. I think it's just just way too close. Um, you know, prize picks nailed that one. Hats off to him. Gordon Hayward, I'm probably going to avoid as well. Um, I mean, different reason. He's not like Russell Westbrook where he's just he's so close to that all the time. Gordon Hayward is just so spotty. I mean, his games are ridiculous all over the place. His games are 31-49. 23, 19, 50, 34. I mean, that is such a stud and dud, you know, snap and flop kind of back and forth. And I, I just can't trust that. I mean, 34, I don't think he's going to be anywhere near there. I think he's going to get, you know, 25 or he's going to get 45. It's just, it, it seems like he's just so hot and cold and he's hard to predict right now. I know he's coming off that injury. It's just, uh, it's still affecting him. So um, I, I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be tough to see, uh, or I shouldn't say it's still affecting him. We still don't know how it's affecting him because he's been so spotty. But we'll see moving forward if he can uh, capitalize on some more opportunities. Um, Trey Young is going to be the last one. I'm not going to talk too much about Trey Young because I think he's kind of like Gordon Hayward. I mean, very spotty, up and down. I mean, a little bit higher of a floor. But at 47, you know, I still don't love Trey Young. I'm probably going to avoid that one. So. You know, those are the eight guys. I'm just going to run through those real quick. Just give you guys a quick synopsis. There's no reason to, you know, harp on these. Just give you guys, I know what you want to hear is, you know, over, under, neutral, and why. That's what I'm going to give you guys. No, no You know, all killer, no filler. Um, but I will say, I'll just do a quick recap. Not sure about Trey Young. I'd say it's a pretty, pretty tough projection. Gordon Hayward, I don't think it's an accurate projection, but good luck guessing over under Russell Westbrook I think is very accurate Joel Embiid I am definitely taking the uh the under on that as he's only hit 50 like I said one of six times uh Vooch I'm gonna take the slight slight confidence in the over in that one it's a good it's a fair projection but I will take the over on that just because the matchup oh he's done well against them and he's been he's been pretty lights out he's hit over that price point more times than not this year Drummond um Drummond at 46 I'm gonna take the under like I said recency bias is hitting hard with him under 38 points his last three games. That is just not the uh, Andre Drummond we're used to. So, I, I mean, I got to just go, not just carry the hot hands, but I mean, got to go with the cold hand and say Andre Drummond is not doing as well as he should. So I will take the under on him. Uh, Sabonis, pretty pretty close. I think that's an appropriate projection. I'm probably going to fade that one as well. And then uh, James Harden, I think 56 is way too high, especially how he's been playing. Tough defense he's playing against. And uh, I'm going to take the under on James Harden. So those are my picks, guys. Those are uh, you know some of my opinions on these eight that I'm, I'm seeing right now. There's going to be some more added. But if you have any comments, um, you know, uh, we, we love seeing them, guys. I know Matt's going to probably do some more giveaways um, where, where he'll want you to comment, but I, I just love hearing them, guys. I like to see who you think is you know going to be soaring past their projections, who's going to fall short, and why. Love hearing from you guys. I'm excited. As you know, we've talked about MMA coming up, um, NFL. I'm going to try to do the NFL prize picks probably maybe tomorrow if I can, just to get them out of the way. I mean, I love them, but I, I'm really excited for some uh, – you get back to some DraftKings football. I mean, it's going to be a really fun weekend with the playoffs. So thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, more NBA tomorrow. Like I said, probably going to try to kick out that NFL prize picks tomorrow. And uh, yeah, as always, let's gash.